Hello, welcome to my bathroom. Oh, en suite, to be specific. Sorry for echoes, can't help it. It's the bathroom. So, Sadie's in France at the moment. Um, I thought I'd take the opportunity, take some days off work, just um, clean up a little bit. It's, the rest of our apartment is nice, it's all looking fresh, good colours, nice paint job. But this one, this room sucks, it's terrible. Um, I don't know if it was done before the other rooms, but who knows. So, have a nice touch up, make it look all nice and fresh when she's back. Um, thought I'd film it, haven't made a video for well, a long time, actually, for about a year and a half. Um, look at that. Um, yeah, I'll go out, show you everything I've got for the job. Um, I'll show you what needs doing and then we'll crack on. Today I'm going to be doing just the prep work really. I'll take everything out, um, I'll tape everything up and um, I might do the gloss, do a coat of gloss now so it's got enough time to dry and then I'll do a second coat tomorrow after I've done the walls. Um, the emulsion only takes four to six hours to dry so I can do two coats in one day. Um, but yeah, the gloss will take a lot longer. And so while that's drying, I can do all the filling, sand, refill if I have to, and do all the minor stuff before the big paint work tomorrow. Um, yeah, let's get cracking, shall we? Okay, so we got some cheapo Wilco's gloss. It was like half the price of the good stuff, so it's only for the skirting and that bit of wood, so no one's going to notice. Um, we've got the Dulux Easy Care bathroom paint. I think the stuff in there at the moment is regular emulsion, so this should give it a better finish and help with the steam and everything. Um, that wasn't cheap. For such a small tin, what is it, two and a half? Yeah, oh. Yeah, two and a half litre. Expensive. Um, got this. It was like a an all you need kind of pack with a handle. It comes with five emulsion rollers and five oil base rollers. So they'll be for the glossing. They'll be for the paint. I've got a tray. Um, brought an angled brush because after using them at work, there's no turning back. Um, got a smaller angled brush for doing around the lights and everything. Uh, what else we got? Some polyfiller. Just some cheap polyfiller from Wilco's again. Still polycell, but it's got a drying time of two hours. Um, tack cloth for sanding. Sorted sanding paper. I realized I didn't have any, so I got a 180, a 120, and a 60. That should be all about I need. Uh, what else? Some white silicon, filling gun, nothing special. Paint scraper, because a lot of the tiles already have paint on them, so I want to try and clear that up. Some gloves, took them from work. Some a brand new unused frog tape. It was on offer in B&Q, so I thought I'd treat myself. I normally use regular masking tape, so I thought I'd see what all of this is for such an expensive tape. Um, what else? Oh yeah, these. Got them in Wilco's because I didn't have my filling knife. Um, one cheapo Wilco's filling knife was three pounds. Or this, which is a four piece pack, was like one pound fifty. And it's got four different blade lengths. Um, I'll just get one out of the pack, hang on. So, it's basically just a filling knife minus the handle. It's got a bit of flex on it, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, I thought whenever I do filling at work, I don't hold the knife by the handle anyway. I get my fingers on the blade and then get that, get it in like that. So for half the price, four times the amount, as long as you can deal with not having a handle, I thought, why not? So it's our uh, ensuite on our bedroom, not the main bathroom, so it's not too big. Shouldn't take too long at all. It's all white apart from the tiles, so that's nice and easy. Um, it's just to make it look a little bit fresher, really. It's all looking a bit aged, a bit tacky, 
chicken pain. Uh, the main areas to focus on, if I can be bothered, is the ceiling has all of these dents and cracks that have just been painted over, especially up here by the light. If I can be bothered, I will sand and fill those. But apart from that, there's just chipping paint, general marks. And um, this is not, you can't stick it in the wall any better. So I'm gonna take it out, fill it, put it further up. But I didn't bring any plaster fixing so I'm from work. So I'll be doing that next week. Um, bits like this that need to be filled, uh, all of the, plastic caps and sockets all have paint on the side so hence the scraper um, a bit of a crack don't know if you can see that but that needs to be sanded and filled a bit, a bit more paint all of the tile line really needs to be scraped um, this down here some bad filling has been on that and they've just painted over so that will be nice to touch up. And then this hideous bit of skirting down here. I'm not quite sure why that is so rank. The rest of it is near enough fine, but this piece is horrible. Look at it. That will need a lot of work. Looks like it's been painted over quite a lot. So yeah, we'll sand all that off. And then that will look nicer. The rest of the woodwork's not too bad. I'm not gonna do the door frame or the door, that's fine. I will do the skirting though, just to give it a touch up. And this wooden shelf can have it as well. Have a bit of a top up. But apart from that, it's just a paint job and it should be nice and simple. Again, we'll put some sealer around these and this one, because it doesn't seem to have any. Um, but yeah, everything's coming off, apart from this, because it's a solid fix. So it's not coming off, but all of this can come off. That, I'll tape around all of these. I was weighing up with taking this off the wall, but I think it'll probably just be hassle, and I can get behind it. So, don't need to worry about that. Okay, let's get prepping. So the most important part of work, cup of tea, although it is, it's gone 10 past two, so I think once this is gone, it'll be beer. It's um, somewhat acceptable time to drink it now. I'm working kind of hard, so yeah, beer. Um, yeah. Get everything out of here, get some tunes on, pass the time, tape, prep work, Time consuming, but important. Makes the finish much better.
Sanding. Um, not as much filling as I thought that there would be. Uh, that's the worst bit. Whatever happened down there, it was the paint, one coat perhaps on top of plaster, so I'm not surprised it looks like shit. Um, that bit of skirting is horrible, but I've sanded it down as best I can. Um, there's a couple or an extra coat of glass on that will sort it. Um, yeah, can't really do anything now until the filler sets, which, like I said, is um, surface dry one to two hours, depending on conditions. Okay, all right, I'll come back in an hour, see what it feels like. If not, two hours, 20 past five. Um, and yeah, sand it all down. I'll give the walls another wipe. Shouldn't really have wasted my time doing that. I totally forgot about having to sand the filler, so that was a bit of a pain. But oh, it's really hot in here. Um, yeah, so I'll come back an hour or two hours. If it's dry, start recording again, sand down the filler, wash the walls, and then hoover. Get all this shit off the floor. And then we should be good for a coat on the skirting. Um, yeah, that's probably where I'll stop skirting today. And then do the walls tomorrow. Early start. Do one in the morning. And then give it time to try and do another one in the evening. I've got to be out at half eleven tomorrow, I think it is, for an MOT. So I've got to take the car in for that. It's just down the road there, so I'll just walk back. Um, so yeah, that can be my gap between coats. Um, yeah, so I'll see you again in a little bit. All right, so it's been just about two hours. Um, I came in an hour ago, wasn't quite there. Some of the thin pieces were fine, but the thick ones like down here, um, still a little bit flaky, so didn't wanna jump in, do it badly, especially down here. Um, so I thought I'd give it the full time it recommends, even though it's quite warm in here. Um, in the break, in my two hour break, I was just having a look at what I've recorded already and um, having a play at how I'm gonna put it all together. Because I've recorded, I don't know, an hour and a half, four, and um, Obviously you don't want a video that long, no one's going to sit down and watch it, so I was trying the time-lapse kind of feature, speeding it up a thousand times, 
and it's actually turned out quite well. I wasn't expecting that, so that's good. It should mean after I finish doing what I'm going to do now, um, really it shouldn't be any longer than 20 minutes perhaps, so that's a bit acceptable. 20 minutes for today, 20 minutes for tomorrow. I'm sure that's not too bad. Um, so, standing time, I've brought specialty gear. Uh, well, not specialty, it's a cheap disposable mask. It's just enclosed space, don't really want to put the fan on to suck up all the dust. So, um, have this on, and then when I've sanded, I will give it a bit of time to set, well, settle, and then I'll come in, hoover, wash the walls, and go from there. Um, I hate wearing these things, exceptionally uncomfortable, but it's important. Do with a hat on, can I? So let's get cracking. Okay, so that's all of the sanding done. Horrible, horrible experience. Very fucking messy. Um, according to this, it took 15 minutes, so not too bad. Um, there's a lot of dust in here now. Kind of wish I got the easy sand polyfiller or borrowed palm sand from work because it would have been a lot easier. Uh, anyway, I'm going to give it 10 minutes for the dust settle bit and then hoover, wash and then we'll see what happens. Alright, ciao. So that's it done for the day. Um, I was gonna do a coat on the skirting, but I already can't be fucked right now. Um, I'll do it first thing tomorrow. Um, maybe give it an hour or so to dry, coat on the walls, and then chill for a bit, and then put another coat on the walls. Um, the last coat on the skirting can be the last thing done, so that's not too bad. It hasn't turned out too bad. Um, the bits that I filled look alright. This bit down here looks great compared to what it was. Um, 
a little bit chipped off while I was uh, sanding, so I might stick a tiny bit on there tomorrow um, before doing the walls. But yeah, everything's looking all right. Ceiling hasn't turned out too bad, so hopefully that will cover with some paint. Um, apart from that, it's clean in there now, no dust. Uh, there will be some by the morning. Uh, so yeah, that's it, day one, done. It's now like seven o'clock. I have left some rather sizable gaps in between filming. But I don't think it's dinner time now. Fucking starving. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow uh, where we'll do the real work, the painting. Bye for now.